guys welcome to my youtube channel at kenny designs and vlogs today we're going to design a beautiful beautiful mansion using Archicad 25 so fire up your Archicad 25 we're going to use the architectural profile and if you are new to this channel be sure to hit on that subscribe button leave a comment like it and if you really really love me and love my content you can share it with your friends thank you so let's dive into it we're going to use the architectural profile as i said um we let it load take some time so this mansion i don't know how many bedrooms it's going to have but uh i did some sketches and from those sketches hopefully we are going to get a good floor plan the thing i usually love doing is saving the project just before you start doing anything just save the project you don't want to lose anything right so i want to just uh, save it here and uh, maybe let's say house two let me say house two and save it so uh what i usually love doing when i start my projects i love to look at the units so i come here to options work environment preferences here they are here uh, working units i love working in mm mm is here uh, all of this is okay and uh, you can go back to options project preferences dimensions i love using the mm to dimension i won't need it now but i'll need it later so i set it and then uh, i come to my wall tool to my wall tool i want to use a uh, brick the reason i'm using brick is uh, because brick shows some hatching on the ground floor which is super cool and i usually change my wall width to 200 just for the start and i leave everything as it is and uh, if you want to change the floor height uh, you can come to story settings and do all this i leave it as 3000 but i'll insert two stories above just to be safe and uh, the next thing i want to do is go to the column tool uh where's the column tool here's the column tool i want to double click the column tool and i want to change my column width to 200 uh, which will kind of match the wall that we're going to use uh, the top link uh, home story we want to change the story to ground floor and uh, yeah, if we just go back, right click, go to ground floor and double click again here you can see the home store is ground floor, negative 200, which is okay. The beam tool, um, we might or might not use the beam tool right now. It's not necessary. We are not engineers. So I love to go to the design, to the grid system. And then uh, I come elements at green lines or sections, columns, and I go to settings. Under settings, I change it to 200 so that I matches my walls and I hit OK. And uh, yeah, so before we do all this, I want to first import the image. Just hit on escape. I want to import the image. So guys, we've already dragged and dropped the image. This is it. This is the sketch I came up with. Uh, I'm not that good at sketching, but well, we'll try. So, so we go to the design grid system uh we leave the columns as it is uh, we want to start with uh, this grid so we say the first grid is 5000 so i'll put it at 5200 reason is because when you use a wall the wall eats up some of the space so that means when you use when you want to uh put 5000 as internal dimension you have to put something that will also cover for the wall so i love to use 5200 the reason is also because i'll use the wall center the center line method for the wall so i'll need it and hit on ok and uh, you can see this is our grid over here if you look at it it's uh, kind of matching this but okay we come put it yes that is our grid you can see the columns have uh, been placed at their respective places we're going to remove some of them so when you hit the 3d button and go to 3d stroke all this is what we have you can choose to switch off uh, the grid uh, by grid Control t for settings or right click grid element selection settings and uh, then you go display in 3d you uncheck it and uh, you will remove it but uh, for now let's leave it uh, then we go to the wall you check the wall you use brick 200 this is okay okay and then you use the center face so according to my plan i wanted something that uh, will go with here so 
this column this column has to go so we click on it and delete it so that column is gone um what else i think we basically have the layout of the house we want to close the, the reading rooms so you can press on w to go back to your previous command which in this case was my wall tool uh huh you can do that So basically sitting room, all that stuff. Uh -huh. So I don't know if we'll start with the kitchen or the dining, but uh, we can just hit on control S, save your project. I think we are going to start uh, with this. So what I actually want, uh, is the cinema, cinema room, I want it to be completely dark. So maybe a window, uh, no, maybe a window. Uh, no, 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 we are not going to put any window for the cinema room. We don't want to disturb the acoustics that will be there. Yeah, acoustics and some, some stuff of that. Yeah, so we want to start with this. Uh, we want to put for it a uh, corner window. And uh, I don't want the corner window to be towards the opening of the, of the house because this, of course, is a reading room. So what you simply do, go to design. We have this stuff that is a corner window tool. So in the corner window tool, um, we want to say 3D detail, we want to use full for now. And uh, the size, let's say we want to use one meter by one meter corner window, or let's use 1500 by 1500. Uh, the seal to story will say 400. And uh, because the beam is usually placed at 2400, most likely, so we'll have a cool opening of 2,000 meters and uh, reveal to walk over, let's say 75. I love uh, when it's at 75. Then you hit OK. Uh, when you come and uh, hit this one on this side, it will show you that. But I had put a column over here. So you can just delete that column. And uh, what you actually see in 3D is uh, yes. So this is our corner window. Uh, it looks the way it's looking like, but uh, we can modify it. You just select it, Control T, select the corner window settings. We want to modify the corner window a little bit. So basic window settings. Uh, you just go back, go back, uh -huh. and then you start. Upper transom, we want the upper transom. Do you want the lower transom? Yes, of course. Uh, because it's 2000, let's say here is 400, so this will be 1600. And uh, we go to the next. Uh, what we want to do, uh -huh. 3D detail full, just leave everything as it is. Uh, uniform frame width, and I want the frame width to be 30 because mostly it's mostly aluminium or metallic, so 30 is good for me. And the uh, main sash, I don't want any grid on the main sash. Uh, lower sash, I want HV grid, I want uh, two grids, we'll see how it looks like, and uh, transom sash, I want HV grid, and I want two grids, uh-huh, okay, um, window handle, yes, definitely that, uh, next, what we have to change is uh, this one, I don't love seeing this line in 3D, it, it aches me, and uh, I think we can change uniform so, uh, the surface. I usually love to change it to metal aluminium because well, aluminium is cool and hit on OK. So when you hit on OK, um, this is the window that we've just modified in 3D. It looks cool. I, I'll say it looks cool. Yeah, it, it does look cool, yes. Yeah, so yeah, it looks really nice. Anyway, uh, so what we're going to do, go back to the floor plan. Uh, the next window we want is uh, the window for the dining area. We just want the normal window. So go to the window tool and um, we, can, we can do a still actually. We can just uh, alt, pick the properties of this window and uh, go to this place. I don't know if it will work. It won't work. Will it work? No, it won't work. So um, window tool. No more shortcuts, no more shortcuts. Double click to choose the settings. We want to choose the settings that are there for the window. Uh, 3D level detail, obviously full. Um, upper transom, lower transom. Uh -huh. As you said, 1600. And um, let's say uh, the height is 2000. 
the width uh, let's put it at 2000 i want a lot of light in this house uh sealed story height 400 uh, this reveal to wall core 75 and um what's next uh, basic window settings uh -huh. so like we have to set this this is 1600 right and next is uh, this uh -huh. next uh, uniform frame width check it and uh, say 30 so these are the preset settings we'll use for all for all the windows hv grid uh, this one four will be okay each of 500 to look nice oh sorry uh, can some sash hv grid this is okay uh-huh window handle yes 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 Override this and change it. Change it. Do that. Uh -huh. Change it. Metal aluminium. Good. I uh -huh. think we can stop there. And uh, once you come here, we can have this. Uh, there is that symbol that has come. Maybe is that the center? Habibi. I think maybe that's the center. We'll check later. And when you look at it in 3D, what you actually have is this cool window it looks super cool with the opening yeah looks super cool yeah so this window because uh, this is the kitchen and we want the sink to be on this side of the kitchen you just hit on w and go well, let's put it here uh, the difference between this uh, kitchen window is uh, the kitchen window will need a higher seal height so let's say a height of uh, 800 because uh, the countertop is around eight eight hundred, so let's say this will be eight hundred, and this will be sixteen hundred because we've uh, reduced it sixteen hundred and hit on OK. Uh huh. We want to go to the dining, so W again, two meters. It's okay. We want to go to this bedroom. Uh huh. We hit on. It's let's say that's the center, and uh, hit on the opening. Good. Uh hmm. Uh, no no windows for this place we'll use the window later or a curtain wall tool sounds cool we can take the wall tool and uh, segregate this part out yes good and uh, I think we have the basic layout of the house right now um, what next we want to do I want to put in the doors uh, so we come to the door tool double click it after double clicking the door tool and uh, you open the door tool, uh, we want to start with the, this door. I love these doors, doors with the transoms, right? So, reveal to wall face, uh -huh. seal to, I want to use zero for now. If we have something, we'll change it later. Yes. Uh, this one, um, hmm. we'll just go back. Uh, this is 300, leave it as it is. No leaf, no grid. Uh, I love, I love grids. Those which have grids, yeah. I need a handle, yeah. 3D level detail, full. If you don't do that, you won't see the actual things that you've actually chosen. And uh, we, we can leave everything as it is, right? So hit on OK. But before you hit on OK, look at the width. It's 900. So 900 is standard door, three feet. Yeah, they say three feet. So when you come here, I want to use uh, this, this, I want to open, no, 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 yes, it has opened to the side, good, uh, I also want to use it on this side, I want to open it, yes, that's good, I want this um, to open from here to this side, that's good, uh, I think those are the doors that we need before we put the staircase and we'll decide where the toilets will be uh we want to go and put the last big door so back to the door and uh we want to put a very big door uh, probably with side lights should we use a sliding door i think uh sliding doors give us the good impression you know but also swimming doors they consume a lot of space but yeah let's go with a sliding door so just go up here sliding doors and uh we want the exterior one exterior one we want one with the two side lights i love this one 
and uh, it's 2000 so the height you have to change it to 2400 to match the other settings and uh, sliding door settings I love the one that has uh, let's let's use prayer style uh, level detail full two levels one sliding uh, I want uh, two sliding leaves here that is okay with me handle and this kind of knob uh -huh. Uh -huh. we'll go we go if you want to change anything else I think uh, we don't want to edit the sash and uh, I think this opening I hate this stuff yeah I remove it uh, I think we're okay if you want to change it to mahogany whatever you want to change it to it's okay I'm okay with that and then just come I want to place the big door let's take the center place it opening towards uh i think outside will be cool yes so when we go to the 3d oh no 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 control z we placed it at the wrong place uh rebuild yes good when you go to the 3d this is what we actually have so this is the big sliding door that we've actually created so it looks super cool this is our corner window this is the normal window. This is the window towards the kitchen. We're going to rectify it. I'll leave that as a breather. This is the dining window. This is the bedroom window. So guys, hope you've learned something from today. And see you in the next video. Be sure to hit on the subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next video.